under way. What is the justification to hand over two highly regarded public hospitals to a single private operator? Profits. Healthcare is a need. We can work out what you need and professional provider advice to do it. And that means that public sectors are much better at being able to work out who needs what and to support professionals to make the decisions they, they need to make to ensure people have um, that health care. This is why the co-payment is so very important. It's not the amount, even one dollar would matter. It's because it's mandatory. It's because it will take away our universal access to health care when we need it. The thing that's causing the biggest crisis in going up fastest is the subsidy of private health insurance. Paul Probase Hospital remained under private operation for over 10 years and that time was bad for patients bad for the community and bad for the staff that work there. If the Port Macquarie experience is anything to go on, as I said, staffing was cut to the bone, everything was pared right down to the absolute minimum. The community was told there would be all sorts of safeguards in place. Does this sound familiar? Yes. <laughs> We're nurses and midwives. We're not, we don't worry about company structures and shareholders and we were given the whole rundown of how important it was to keep shareholders happy, whereas that's not our prime business. We're, we're here to look after patients and give them the care that they it need. Is, yeah, just lack of communication. No, I believe patients did suffer as a result. It is all about profit. It really isn't about anything else. That's what it's about. Politicians are being driven uh, by this idea that user pays is an important principle. The government is getting the money now and somebody else is paying later and that's a, a large part of why governments are doing this um, and we need to let people know that uh, and um, make sure they pay for it properly. On the northern beaches we definitely need a new hospital but what we're really concerned about is the way that they're converting our public health care into a private hospital. You have to remember the bottom line for any private company is profit, 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 profit. This is bigger than just whether you enter the front door as a public patient and leave as a public patient. It'll be about what's left of our health system if the bigger picture that this is part of rolls along at the speed that it's rolling. I just returned from nine years living in the United States and, um, and I had twins and I had a very complicated delivery. The cost of that delivery was 250000 <laughs> How, how far along do you think we are? Do you think this is salvageable? Because I, my concern is that it's the thin edge of the wedge. We're in an affluent area of Sydney, so they feel like they can get it in, get it under the radar, but it's going to then kind of expand like a cancer through our society. Chief Executive of the Local Health District is, is assuring me we're not going there. Well, when you're here, the head of the Private Hospitals Association and the head of the largest corporation who is very likely to get a contract for Northern Beaches say that their next step is is to convince other companies to offer private insurance as part of employment contracts then you really have to know that we are a long way down the track. How can I then effectively get the word out when as the very person working in the system who knows what's happening and knows what's going to happen I'm not allowed to say anything. You do have rights as a public uh, citizen to talk about the issues that affect you in the community and affect uh, what you know about. I think the conditions are, for the nurses are important, but the most important issue is what we're going to be able to offer our patients. What can we do as part of the community here and now to make it stop? You need as many community groups involved as possible shouldn't just be coming from healthcare workers. Uh, we do need to continue this campaign and we do need to keep uh, getting the message out. Bad things happen when good people do nothing. Any of us who has the capacity to make some change or influence in some way must do it. <laughs>